when she was like six months old, I start remembering kind of getting like um, a little bit um, kind of obsessed about cleaning things. That I was going to, my vulnerable little baby could get sick and I, that would, I would never want that to happen and, and I'm responsible for her and mm -hmm. so I need to be careful. And so, so the OCD kind of takes a very natural part of all of us and it, in, a, in some way takes advantage of it mm -hmm. and then uses it against you. Is that fair to say that it went in that way? Um, you, know, you were vulnerable. You know, yeah. it, it looks for what you're vulnerable to. Right. What are you shooting for when you wash your hands? Is that I'm just trying to um, put off the, the feeling of some kind of worry or um, doubt or... About something that's risky, that's dangerous, right? Right. So if we can go up something at that about... level and teach you how to respond to that, mm -hmm. because unfortunately the anxiety disorders... Mm -hmm. run the life cycle. Mm -hmm. So if you and I can focus on what really they're all about and have a protocol for that, mm -hmm. it won't matter what, what it throws at you, you'll know how to respond to that. Mm -hmm. So we, we have to disconnect from the content. I, I perceive the content as garbage, trash. You won't be sitting around Picking up the trash, as soon as I want, I want to understand the content, I want to understand how OCD has gotten them about the content, but once I've got that, for most people that I see, we then never talk about the content again. We don't do a hierarchy on the con. We have no hierarchy on the content. It's not what we're going to do because the content is irrelevant, right? I am going to go get the content as, as a client, I'm gonna go pick up the content to generate a generic sense of uncertainty. Say, thanks OCD, you gave me that generic sense of uncertainty, that's where I wanna sit. That's what's gonna be my work. So we're gonna go get it, but we're not gonna pay attention to it once we get it, because we're only going toward it to get this generic sense. Therefore, I'm gonna ask you to take both your hands and rub them against this sink. So we're going to that sink because that's the filthiest. I mean, that has the most potential for practice. So. You said it, not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is pretty filthy. Now, to what degree can you say, I want this feeling right now? What degree can you, can you get that and be able to operationalize that? In, in I want this feeling. I'm trying to talk myself into it. Okay, it is really it taking am. a lot? Okay, yes. so wait a minute. I want this outcome. I do. I, I want this outcome. I really do want that outcome, but I don't want this feeling. Like, Well, I don't want it, <laughs> and yet I need to have it. Yeah. And if I need it, I'll, I'll want it. Okay. okay.